Okay, we're making a fall landscape picture and we are going to start at the bottom of the paper and we're just going to write our names. Okay, above that we're going to make a wavy line for the ground or the grass. So it's not super wavy, it's low waves. If it turns out to be almost straight, that's fine too. Okay, then a little bit above that, we're going to draw the trunks of the trees. So we have three tree trunks. And they go about halfway up the page. And that's just like making a rectangle shape. And then behind these trees are the mountains. So we're going to draw a zigzag line for that. So instead of going right through the trees, we're going to skip over the trees. And we do our zigzag. So we just sort of imagine it skipping over and then continuing on the other side at that diagonal line. Okay, and then way at the top, we're going to make a circle for the sun. I'm not going to draw in the tops of the trees because I'm just going to fill that in with my crayons. So I would like to do some blending of colors. So I'm going to start at the bottom here with my green. And you probably would draw with pencil. So you're going to want to go over that pencil line with your green nice and dark. And then I'm going to color that in. So I sort of colored in with diagonal strokes. And I'm not worried about pressing real hard when I'm coloring. Oh, and I'm not also worried about filling in every little bit of white space. Because what I want to do is blend in color. So I'm going to use a light green. And I'm going to color right on top of my dark green. And that's going to help to fill in the spaces. And you can see how much nicer this color looks where I did the light green than this side where I just did the plain green. And I know that the light green, of course, is going to blend nicely with the uh, darker green because they are analogous colors, colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. Okay, for my um, tree trunks, probably gray or brown or black. Right now I'm using a brown. And then I'm going to blend in a little bit of black. And I even did a little bit of um, diagonal coloring in this spot as well. Okay, um, next we have our purple mountains. And 
And again, I would color this in. And not worry about all the space. Because I am going to blend in another color. Um, this is a violet red. So red and violet or purple are next to each other on the color wheel also. So we know that these colors will blend nicely. Okay, and I would fill that in some more. Um, I'm gonna use my yellow for my sun. But I also want to show you how I did the leaves of the trees. So, I just kind of imagine that there is like a circular shape on top of the trees. And then I'm just kind of quickly filling in that kind of circular shape. So you'll probably be able to see a little better with my orange. some red. And again, these colors do blend nicely together. Red and orange are analogous, and yellow and orange are analogous. Next to each other on the color wheel. All right, and then pretty much my last step, um, I did some cerulean blue and some blue-green, and then colored in the sky. So make sure the sky comes all the way down to the ground and fill it in all the way to the top of your paper. So the ground line, in this case, is the line for the mountains. Make sure all that gets filled in nicely. So I would still go back probably and add in a little bit more color with my trees. And definitely I gotta fill in my mountains some more. And I also want to blend in some of my blue green with my cerulean blue sky all right so good luck with yours hope it turns out just wonderfully for you